I've been yeah. working there. Hello viewers, how is your evening? Today, this afternoon, we're going to be streaming uh, Game of Thrones, The Winds of Winter and having a discussion on the episode 10 of season 6, what happens. Um, yeah, just talking about that in general. So, to start off, we've got episode 10 of Game of Thrones, season 6. It aired on the 26th of June last year. Um, it got a viewership of the highest viewership it's had mm -hmm. in the history of Game of Thrones, the series. Mm -hmm. um, it was the highest rated episode. It had 8.89 million views in the initial broadcast. So, what happens in this episode? Now, to start off, they're in King's Landing, Cersei Lannister sets off wildfire beneath the Great Sept of Bala. Uh, so she blows that up because obviously she's got a lot of hate um, brewed up for the High Sparrow and a lot of the other inhabitants of that scepter, of that sept, the Great Sept. Um, so she kills the occupants with that, with the wildfire, that weird green chemical, whatever that is, explosion, including the High Sparrow uh, and Queen Marjorie Tyrell, uh, causing the suicide of King Toman Baratheon, which was Joffrey's brother. We know that from past episodes. Uh, and then Cersei subsequently claims the Iron Throne. Okay. So she claims the Iron Throne, she blows the whole thing up, um, and then, but she didn't, she can, didn't. Can I just do a summary? Quick yeah. Summary? Right, for those that are not into Game of Thrones and are wondering what the, what the F is going on, the shits, in Game of Thrones there's shitloads of characters, right? There's characters everywhere, okay? <coughs> and um, what it is, there's been a lot of, it's a castle, there's been a lot of killings, right? And there's all these other kingdoms, and what's happened is, uh, there's a war throughout the, the whole... The whole uh, of, of uh, Game of Thrones, King's Landing, there's, there's wars, right? But what's happened is this, this queen, we'll just call her Queen Bitch, um, now known uh, she, uh, Cersei. Cersei Lannister, um, she's been humiliated, she's been uh, backstabbed, she's backstabbed everybody. Overthrown. Else. She's been overthrown, whatever. By the so High Sparrow. So she's on her last legs, but through royalty, she's still hanging in there in the kingdom. And she gets invited to this new, um, a new takeover of the castle. She gets invited to it, right? Um, because she's she is royalty. She basically right? plots to destroy the yes, destroy so the so whole great sept. So and, what she does and you know, take her place yeah. back. So what she I'm does going. is she's saying like, if I can't have my throne back, I'm going to drink wine and I'm going to blow the thing hot all up. So she's got a glass of wine um, in a clip uh, that we might show a bit later. She's got a glass of wine and she's just sipping away watching the whole castle blow up with this green, this green explosive. I, I think it's like nitroglycerin, isn't it? It's like, it's a green no, explosive. No, yeah. Alright, sorry, continue. Continue. Okay. okay. So, yeah, the and then the son commits suicide afterwards and had, had the Queen have actually been there to to um, comfort him after after everything that happened, he would have been much more calm about the situation, and he probably wouldn't have taken that action. Um, and also, her son was the only thing really holding her, ke yeah. keeping her humanity. Like it was the pillar of her humanity, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her son yeah. being alive, that was the last string. And now she's going to turn into some kind of monster. We don't know what she's going to do, but we know she's capable of some extreme, of some extreme things. So we're going to go to the next scene here. All right. So in this next scene, we're looking at Arya Stark. So we're basically what happens here is she she kills Walder Frey. Uh, now, how afraid do you think Frey must have been when he saw her? I reckon he just shit himself. I reckon he cacked his pants. I think he cacked his pants and he just really regretted being in that exact place at that time. 
Uh, so she kills him with a dagger, she slits his throat for revenge over her mother, who, who Frey killed earlier in the series. Then we'll go to the next thing. We've got at Winterfell. Jon Snow. We've got Jon Snow at Winterfell. Uh, he was declared king by the Lord of the Northern Houses and beyond the wall. So tell us a bit about Jon Snow. What's the deal? You tell me him? about Jon Snow. All I know is Jon Snow died and he came back. I, I reckon his second name is Jesus. <laughs> he, this guy actually died on the show and came back. How the hell they brought him back with voodoo or something? <laughs> They actually killed him off. And he killed a white walker, and then he got resurrected by that witch. Do you yeah, remember? yeah, he got, yeah. I know. It was all. It was voodoo, man. Voodoo. It right? was you know, voodoo stuff. It was, it was voodoo, a, voodoo he's shit. Voodoo. He's a creepy. You know, like chicken hand, chicken wings, and he should be dead. dead is yeah. what I'm saying. He's, he's, he's more than dead. He's more he than should dead. be dead. He's been resurrected. So the writers resurrected him to keep the show going because he was so popular. That's it. You know, that's pretty show. much. Yeah. Okay. But as far as the character goes, I think he's a bit of a weak ass. I've never really liked. I'm just my person. Yeah. I know this John. I don't want to upset fans out there, but to me, John Snow has been a wuss the whole thing. He's not. He's always said, oh, "I'm not sure about being a leader." I don't think he. And has he's been, been given advice. He gives advice that that's a fifty-fifty toss of a coin whether it's going to work or not. I personally am not a big fan of John Snow, but he is a big part of this show. So continue, Austin. But when the was, was it and the northern the houses that were corrupt? Huh? And he was the northern houses, I think, were corrupt or whatever that authority was mm. within Winterfell, and he was basically standing up for. He was sort of like a, a, a weak ass politician that's trying to do the right thing by everybody when he's up against some real corrupt corrupt politicians that are just kind of yeah booting him around like a piece of. But like I don't, I don't think he was t too much of a cow. I don't think he was a cow, and I think he was quite. But I'm not saying he was a coward, I'm just saying he's a weak person. But anyway, continue. <laughs> okay. You heard it. You know who we need in there? Captain Kirk from Star Trek. Alright. Give so me Kirk. He's Back in the 60s. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, you can finish now. Okay, so he was declared king by, in the north, by the lords of the northern houses and beyond the wall. Now, Bran Stark also learns that John is the son of Lyanna Stark uh, throughout his travel. Uh, now, we know one thing about Bran Stark, don't we? First of all, he's in desperate need for, okay. for a pair of brand new legs. Okay, now Bran Stark is the little... There's a, kid, there's a kid in the show, a little kid, and he's like a... He needs some, he's got brand, he needs some brand new legs. He's, he's got no legs. They drag this kid all over the forest. He's got His no legs. legs. Brand, he needs some brand new legs. He need, that's right. He needs brand new legs. <laughs> it's pretty hopeless. They drag him around from tree to tree. It's quite With disgusting. With Hodor, the big... Oh, you know, all the... Uh, I can understand the a lot giant of people cruel. crying out saying, this is cruel, this is cruel. But anyway, <coughs> so he's a kid. He's got these wolf powers or some sort of sixth sense. And, um, yeah, he so was travelling in a small group, wasn't he? Mm. Yeah. And then he, he's gone to some... I don't know, what, what was the tree? Do you remember the name of the tree? I don't tree? know, but move along. Yeah. Moving along. Moving along um, so yeah, that's what really happens on. at that point. Now the next point is, in the reach, Samuel Tarly. The, you know, he's from Winterfell. He was, he was often with Jon Snow along his side. Uh, arrives at Sedaddle coinciding with their announcement that winter has come. So there's that. I don't really have much to say about about uh, Samwell. Really? What is that? He just... Like he doesn't... Um, I don't feel like he gives much to the story. Really? Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Who are you talking about? This guy. I can only see the back of it. Can I see his face? What does he You've look like? seen what he looks like. What does he look like? I'll show you a picture. Hold on. I'll show you what he looks like. This guy. Oh, the little dumpy guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Go back. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't give much of the story, though, does he? No, no, no. He's he's like a little happy Humpty Dumpty. 
He doesn't like, contribute much, no. is what I'm saying. He's, he's some sort of Humpty Dumpty that they've put in there, I think, just to... <laughs> just to... Like, all the wussy guys out there that are sitting going, eating their pies and fat on the couch, and they've got their coke... Their diet... Not diet cakes, well, they've got all their bloody slurpees, and they're sitting watching this guy going... Chicken... Chicken nuggets. KFC. And they're yeah. going... That guy's my hero. The little fat guy. He does nothing. He, he's he's so relatable to me. He's me. He's me. Sorry, keep going. So I don't know what you're talking about now. He's a little fat guy. No, he was alright. Um, so, to I finish up, I don't want to mess off Daenerys Targaryen, you know, the dragon girl yeah. to, with, the, with the blonde hair, begins heading to Westeros alongside Tyrion Lannister. Uh, her entire army, the Ironborn Loyal to Yarra Greyjoy, the Tyrell, we don't and the Marshals, and the Three Dragons. Um, so that's what happens overall. That's pretty much a summary of everything. Um, so yeah, she's travelling there to take over um, King's Landing. Uh, so... Tyrion jumps on the band dragon. Oh yeah, I also have a have a a little joke here. What is Tyrion's favorite TV show? It's 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 a really hard question, but I'll tell you I'll tell you the answer. Imp My Ride. If anyone's seen Pimp My Ride, you'll know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about?